So we've been talking about this very subtle but sophisticated schema that I've called the one schema. And this schema should show you a couple of things um, in summary. One is that um, we can really boil down all relationships to associations. And then if we name those associations with various types, what kind of association is it, we can then build up to all the other access structures. The other thing that I want to point out about this, um, about this schema is that it's also a build up to the idea of RDF in the semantic web. Because RDF in the semantic web really works the same way as the schema that we've been talking about. We have nodes in the semantic network, and those nodes point to other nodes. And the relationship between node A and node B is also a semantic node that can be pointed to by the relationship. It's implemented in yet a more sophisticated and more subtle and harder to understand, more abstract way even than this, even than this um, schema. But it has the same idea. It has the same, uh, the same functionality to it. It's just implemented in a different way. So we're now to the kind of the bottom of the schema well. We can create a small single model that's very abstract and can represent anything that we want. And so now you have hopefully the whole range of the story. I can create models that are extremely sophisticated, extremely powerful, and also at the same time mechanically simple. And how I pay for that is that they become also abstract and hard to understand. On the other hand, I can build models that are extremely explicit. Every single node is named for exactly what it is. And I've taken all of the semantics out of the values and put, it, put them into the node names. This is another way to think about it. I can pack my semantics into values, or I can pack my semantics into the names of the nodes. When I pack the semantics into the names of the nodes, I have something that is explicit. When I, pass, when I pack the semantics into the values of the nodes, I have something that's very abstract, very flexible, um, but on the other hand, somewhat harder to understand. So your choice as you model, as you go forward, how much do you want to make explicit? How much do you want to make implicit? How much semantics do you want to, do you want to pack into the names of the elements and attributes? And how much of the semantics do you want to pack into the values of the attributes and elements?